The KH-47 M2 Kinsal, or also nicknamed the Dagger, is one of Russia's most modern hypersonic missiles, touted as unstoppable with several thousand kilometer range and pinpoint accuracy going at speeds of Mach 10. However, this superweapon may not be as impressive as it first seems and is falsely claimed as a hypersonic missile. The Kinsal was operational back in 2017 and has been used in the conflict against Ukraine, with a recent attack with six Kinsals. The missile is very big, with 8 meter in length, 1 meter in diameter, and weighing 4.3 tons with a 500 kilogram warhead. The larger size makes it limited to be launched from the MiG-31 and the Tu-22, but while this weapon has a good capability, the price tag of multiple millions of dollars for each missile makes deployment and production very limited. But while it's a capable missile, it may be over costly, dimensioned, all to be able to be claimed a hypersonic missile wrongly. While hypersonic missiles are defined primarily as missiles going over Mach 5 up to Mach 25, which Kinsile falls in between. Most ballistic missiles fit also into this definition as well. What differs new hypersonic missile is evasive flight path that evades defensive system in two main ways. Either what's called a hypersonic glide vehicle, which gets boosted up to speed most commonly with a ballistic missile, to then deploy a glide vehicle traveling lower than a ballistic missile at higher speeds with a more maneuverable flight path making them hard to intercept. The second is a hypersonic cruise missile, which flies a lot lower in a more horizontal path, as cruise missiles do. The Kinsile, while able to fly at a quasi-ballistic trajectory, which gives it capability to be steered in flight and at a lower flight ceiling than most ballistic missiles, the trajectory is still ballistic, not fitting into either of the hypersonic missile definitions. To showcase this further is the fact that the Kinsile is mostly based on the ground-launched Iskander missile, which has the same capability in trajectory, only going slower due to being ground-launched and being a little shorter, but still over Mach 5, having the same claim to be called a hypersonic missile according to Russia. The Iskander missile program was started in the late 1980s, and due to the collapse of the Soviet Union, the program was delayed where the first test was done in 1996 with several tests following, going into production first in 2006. The question could be asked, what do you get if you take the Atakams and remade it to be launched from a F-15 fighter jet? According to Russia, you get a hypersonic missile, as the Iskander is remade to be launched from the MiG-31. With the same logic, back in 1970s, the US tested the Minuteman 1 air launch from a cargo C-5 plane, which according to Russia should be classified as a hypersonic missile, as it goes well past Mach 5 at a ballistic trajectory. So while the Kinsile is a capable missile, the larger size making it limited to aircraft that could carry it, the high cost of the missile making any production limited, and it's based upon technology predating the 1990s with a quasi-ballistic trajectory makes the claim of being a hypersonic missile plainly wrong. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.